Most people think of John Force Racing as the cars, going down the track, setting world records, but the reality of it is the starting line starts here at the shop. John Force Racing in Brownsburg is 150,000 square feet. Inside our shop is our race car bay. We have research and development for superchargers. We have a fabrication shop. We have a machine shop where we make about 85% of every part that goes on these cars. John Force Racing includes John Force, Robert Height, and his two daughters, Courtney Force and Brittany Force. We're four individual teams here, but we're one team as a whole. What we're preparing for today is go to the race in Gainesville, Florida. Everything you need to function at the track has to be loaded here today and make sure it gets to the track. This whole operation relies on us transporting all this equipment and the race cars and everything that we need to race every weekend. As far as what we're gonna load into our trailers is spare tires, or the race cars, extra cylinder heads, parts, pistons, connecting rods, down to the rags and Windex to go on the window. What we pack into these trucks isn't just you know, pieces and parts, it's hundreds and hundreds of man hours. We keep the same attention to detail on these trucks and trailers that we do into the race cars. That's what wins races, that's what wins championships, is paying attention to all those details. We put so much care and time and service work into these trucks because we can't afford a breakdown. People are counting on us. There's definitely a lot at stake when I pull out of here. There's literally a lot riding on us. It took us about 17 hours to get down here. A short trip, anything less than a day is good for us. There are nine tractor trailers in total. And I'd have to say probably 40 or 45 people at least that, that travel on the road day to day with all these vehicles. It's a rolling city. This is P.T. Barnum at 300 miles an hour with no elephants, just race cars. And you cannot make it without a great road crew. Everyone has their own duties and responsibilities as far as how everything kind of gets shuffled around and made into this cool little village. Each team has two trailers that they turn into one working space. So you have to get them as close together. There's a bridge that connects them in the middle and, and you work out of one. It's just like being in the shop. The hardest part is usually trying to get the trucks in and around with all the other teams trying to do the same thing at the exact same time. These guys and gals out here they're the lifeblood of, my, of John Force Racing, of our operation. Without them, the job doesn't get done. Yeah, I probably set this thing up 25 or 26 times a year for the last eight years. So 25 weeks a year, we set up a full pit, work all weekend and tear it down and then drive to the next one. Each year we put nearly 80,000 miles on our trucks, traveling coast to coast. It gets in your blood. I've been doing this for a long time because it's they become family members and, and I've made the best friends in the world out here. I was a trucker myself. I mean, I long hauled all over America. It's a love, and these kids have it. When you finally see the car going down the drag strip, that's where all the hard work, all the time gone, all the missed stuff at home, that's where it's all worth it. It's just four seconds of awesome. I don't know how else to explain it.